Bright lights in the big city don't seem to have the same shine lately. There are fewer people, businesses are closing, signs have gone dark. I started noticing the neon. The Clover Delicatessen was on 2nd Avenue at 34th Street in Kipps Bay, Manhattan. In August, the pandemic pulled the plug on the 63-year-old family business and its well-known neon. Stores and small businesses make our neighborhoods home, and they've been disappearing for decades. Just ask Carla Murray. You knew from walking around you'd see that sign. It was like their beacon. She and her husband have photographed and published books on the disappearing storefronts of the city. Now they are trying to save some of the actual neon signs. The Palumba Academy of Music on East Gun Hill Road in the Bronx announced its closing in early September, and the sign went dark after 64 years. This particular store means like a really, really lot, you know, to me to help save. They helped the owner find a new home for the 25 feet wide, four feet tall sign at the American Sign Museum in Cincinnati, Ohio. They've started a fundraising drive to help get it there because it will cost thousands to move it. Future generations uh, can go and see it and then they can learn something about Palumbo, like what, what did it mean to the community and like kind of the void that it leaves when it's gone. So it will be a way of remembering it. The signs are a sign of what a place means to the people who live around it. As business prospects seem to dim, neighbors do what they can to support a place and keep the lights on. In Kipps Bay, Greg Mocker, PIX11 News.